Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here, going in for another Alliance War. We're in the back half of the season of season 30. This is war number seven of up against 211, New Avengers 2. So my assignment in section one was on path eight. It just had one fight and it had this warlock. So I'm boosting up, I'm boosting up big. I've accumulated all my energy. I got cosmic boost on, I have an advanced power boost on, I put on a special three boost on, not particularly for this fight it's going to be over really quick so it does have that uh, buff and balance power drain so i'm going to get the power drain that's why i did the power start one um, i'm going to go into my cycle where i do a heavy to get the aptitude a light combo ender with, to get the power gain into a medium combo ender to get the vigilance straight into an l2 that gave me enough power to get pretty much back all the way up to l3 and just like that Boom. Warlock is out. Very minimal health loss from the degen from his power drain um, ability that comes with that. Um, that. That gets tied into that buff and balance power drain. So next up we have a uh, Vision Arcus. Now I considered using just CGR for this one, but some of the other officers were worried about just him being able to shrug stuff off like that tenacity right there so i still have all those same boosts on i did swap out the cosmic um power back and special boost for mystics um, i do throw that special two quick and i get to a special three back because of the power reserve and then my mystic boost before i before the encro encroaching stun timer comes up and you're gonna see coming out of this one I get one big damage big big damage there and I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna be almost right back at a special three before the encroaching stun timer is still hit I launch off the second special three and then that's gonna do it so that was really quick pretty safe could cosmic ghost rider could have done that probably even quicker I think so but that's all right doom was assigned and that's what I'm gonna do so we're gonna move on. We're on path nine in section two. These are all in the same boost. And I go in and I swap out my mystic boost back for cosmic boost. So I just did cosmic, mystic, cosmic. Pretty pretty uh, expensive as far as the loyalty goes for getting those boosts out, but makes these fights so easy. So on this node 35 with Terax, he's got window of opportunity stun when I open. So I did practice baiting his heavy and retaliating with Cosmic Ghost Riders heavy so I can get that aptitude up and I still have that um, power start one boost still active it just I think I had like two or three seconds left so that allowed me to get to special three really quick and easy launch that off we're gonna get that fury we do some pretty decent damage see that 69% we get a bunch of power back boost going and um, we do need to wait for that damnation to fall off before I can get another set of boosts and I go um, into that next combo straight into an L2 and just boom, he's dead. I already had enough power back to get to another L2. That fight went really quick, really easily. And then we move up to this Dragon Man. Now it's still boosted pretty big. I had 30% boost on plus the other boosts and there was some miscommunication as to um, my buddies that were tagging along with me that were supposed to supply a pre some Mr. Fantastic pre-fights to the next fight on the mojo and then that just wasn't going to happen and I didn't want to reboost for that and I knew I could do the fight without the pre-fights I know it helps but so we go and we finish off this dragon and we put on an invulnerability boost and um, we need to be careful because he does have window opportunity stun I want to block his specials and then I go in and I get parried and I thought I was quick enough obviously I was slow um, he goes unblockable and gets the knockdowns so I just intercepted him with my special one and got some distance now I wasn't prepared for that I didn't realize the uh, window of opportunity stun would shrug off the stun it kind of threw me off and then I parried him by accident so I got stunned because he was still under the window of opportunity but we do finish him off we lost some health it wasn't the best fight but that's where you got boosts on um, indestructible health and 
Yeah, so now we're going to move up to this next fight, Node 47. It's got Kinetic Transference, Speed of Indestructible, Opportunist. You don't want to get to your Special 2 while using Torch. I put on my Nova Pre-Fight, back all the way out, come back in, make sure I have it activated. There's no funkiness with the, with the flame on. And yeah, my whole goal here is one, do a little heavy at the beginning to get my temperature up a little bit higher and parry medium light medium and we want him to throw a special two if possible and I think he does throw it there we go we're just gonna block everything we haven't triggered decks we're all good we have completed a few of the prompts go back for a medium light medium and then we're gonna kind of slow it down just a little bit into the special one and he's melting I'm holding block one percent left he throws his special three but that's okay i do have that invulnerability boost on plus i have the special three um, damage reduction boost on just in case i got hit um, before i got special three and that's going to kill him because the nova flames can go come into play and very minimal damage taken so we got to wait for those boosts to, to fall off and get enough energy we come back a little bit later for this Iron Man Infinity War. So this is on the this is the war that was on Thanksgiving. And I should have just gone to bed. I didn't. This is I'm doing this fight really, really late. I put on a health boost, a 10% attack and health boost. I put on a regen boost. And I have um, a Nova pre-fight from another teammate. So I go into this fight and my whole goal was obviously one not to die. Um, but I did want to try to manage the high ground. So where possible, I'm going to throw my special one that got that has three hits on it. Um, and one mistake that I would definitely recommend after doing this fight is early on the fight, block the special ones, build up the smolders, help that temperature get built up. Because towards the end of the fight, it's, it's really hard with um, Iron Man Infinity War to keep your combos going in the 10 increments to keep all of the high ground off. Like it's nor it's gonna just come. Just because the specials are really long and, and they take a while for the animation to go, you can't really counter them um, safely. And but so far the fight's going well. And here we heavy him. Now he's got two armor ups. And I was so much paying attention to the high ground and my combo that he got to three and then I kept comboing him and he got to four armor ups and I got hit so you know I still at 50% I'm in courage range but man look at that block damage now like every time I take a block um, it's it's quite significant and it had me a little bit worried we get him onto the 15% range and I basically just need to hit him one more heavy and for whatever reason there I go throw the special one which is fine he, he, he blocked part of it but here I'm gonna go dash into hit into his block and I wasn't paying attention to his armor up power gain and right when I dashed in he threw a special one tag me and I died it, and check out the health that is on this guy now I was I was devastated and this is the first death of the season for me and it was very easily avoid, avoidable I didn't play well. I wasn't concentrated enough. Here is 5,706 health left. So I went back to my officers and one of them was still awake and I'm like, what do you want me to do? I was like, actually, I, I, was like, I can just take him with Doom. I just need to heavy him like one time because he had like, it was under 2.5% and it was, you know, rage. I'm like, I, all I gotta do is heavy him once. It should be fine. So I go back in with Doom. Well, I underestimated the armor that he won gets right out the gate and so that first heavy doesn't do it and I'm like what that sucks okay well so now we just got to go and just heavy him one more time he should be fine he's got no armor boom we heavy intercept him didn't take him out I was like okay come on took three heavies oh I was very devastated I I feel terrible when I die especially when it's just it's totally it was totally my it was totally my fault so as far as the battle group, we had three deaths overall, but they had five um, in, in our battle group BG2. And overall, we had six deaths, they had nine. It was a pretty close war. It was a good, hard fought war, but we came up victorious against 2 on 1, Avenger, New Avengers 2. Good job to them. It was a good war. And winning that 
moved us all the way up to Masters rank 5 in the first bracket, so that's overall uh, Masters number 8. So as far as my stats go, 6 fights, 6 kills, 1 death, my first death of the season, 39 fights, 39 kills. Um, but we're 5-2 and two overall, and even though I died and I feel terrible about it, um, we still won, which is, which is what matters the most. And we're doing really well, 5-2, and two, we're in the, the top tier of Masters in that top 10, which is pretty awesome. We're hoping that we can stick out the rest of the season and finish it off strong. Um, and I'll be having some videos coming out shortly of the, of the next few wars. Then here's my little uh, collage of my attackers. Doom and Torch are getting a lot of love this season. Um, CGR getting some hits in there, and just ton, tons of diversity as far as who I'm, who I've been fighting. I've been fighting a lot of different paths this season. It's been pretty enjoyable. So that's all for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.